I'm on my way to practice. I don't know how this happens. Probably a baseball. Definitely time for a new coat. Firework going off. That wind's howling today. That's what happens when I use conditioner. So like math, you just keep smashing a kid with a math book until he starts spitting out his times tables. <laughs> What's up everyone? Uh, let's go morning morning. Um, trying something new with that intro, not the stock intro, which I'm going to change, but I <laughs> suddenly realized, I realized this morning, or <sighs> anyways, I realized, oh, I should probably change this intro. All the footage that I would want is on the other hard drive that I just took out. Because <laughs> I was planning on sometime during January taking the footage from like August to December and making at least some sort of new Amsterdam. <laughs> Not New York, but you know what I mean. A new nether, a new intro for us living in the Netherlands. That's much more, yeah. <laughs> it's less like, I mean, I'll still have some of the old stuff in there, but that's all on the other hard drive. So I need to stick that thing in the portal hard drive and plug it in and download stuff. Anyways, <laughs> so that's what's going on with that. Uh, did you like that intro? I kind of, I've seen it for a number of years with, uh, uh, Silas Nasita, and I watched a couple of his videos today, and I realized that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, it's a little ADD, but it sort of leaves people hanging for when stuff's gonna happen, and you don't know if it's ever out of order. That'll be fun for me, editing tomorrow, because this is the time I'm, first time I'm gonna try the intro, and technically don't have an intro right now. I'm on my way to practice. We got the 1.30 to 4.00 something like that and so that's what's, what's going on with that um, <laughs> again it having an intro like that probably makes me more accountable to make the clips a little bit more interesting plus I can always do that Marvel thing and like put stuff in there that got cut out of the regular vlog I don't know if you guys like it comment below um, unless you want the like 10 to 15 second little like thought of the day and then the new intro, but I will be redoing the musical stock intro. Um, yeah, just need to probably do that one this week. Uh, gotta make sure everything's up on the up and up with my card because I think I have like 26 euros on there. I love that in the Netherlands they say defect rather than like kaput or broken or whatever. It, I don't know how this happens. Probably a baseball or a rock. So I figured out what's wrong with the jacket, at least the zipper. If I'm out in the cold too long, the metal itself ever so slightly shrinks and it doesn't zip after that. Because after I was standing inside Hilfersum for a little while, I went to, or I was in the train, um, before I got to Hilfersum, I re-zipped it back up and it zipped up just fine. I was like, why was it? Oh temperature. Yeah, definitely time for a new coat. So someone either dropped something over there or was just another firework going off. That, there was a big one that happened last night. I didn't look at my phone, but we went to bed at like 1130 and I was already, I woke me dead out of a sleep and it just, I mean it could have been a lightning strike, <laughs> I, but it woke me out of a dead sleep. But it came from behind the apartment, not in front. Um, at least that's where the bulk of the sound came from was our door. It was so loud and so crystal clear that I could hear what direction the sound came from inside the apartment from dead sleep. Like it was, it didn't wake Aaron up because he slept through earthquakes before. Not here, in the States. All right. Uh, the wind's howling today. That. There's George, he's from Groningen. He lives in Utrecht now, but so he's traveling out here. There's our wonderful center Martijn. I thought I might have been having the long snap today because Maurice didn't show up, but we didn't do that kind of snapping for, we didn't do any of that for special teams. Everybody's having too many issues hitting. That's <laughs> so what happens when I use conditioner. God damn. So I'm thinking of going with that haircut that Hawkeye has in Endgame. You sure? 
Yeah, Have you seen the haircut? No. Okay. But if you want it. It's like shaved all the way up to like here. Same way I did the mullet, you know? Oh, true. Just do it, man. Everybody else knows. That's the thing is, I'm, my, my, that's my idea. I was like, you know what? It really doesn't fucking matter anymore. No. <laughs> because I came here thinking, oh, I'll join the Lightning because Mark Bright talked to me. I'm like, wait a second. I don't know anybody, anything. I'm going to go pick the team I want to play on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And now it's like, wait a second. <laughs> I, I'm already pretty much an outsider anyways. <laughs> With being an expat, I might as well just cut my hair fucking weird. So, yeah, Georgia. Uh, I went to high school in, uh, in the States. Up in Min Minnesota area. Uh, we were talking about amateur stuff. Technically, I would, I sure know, I know. It's a football day. We didn't have many people here. We were trying to do our coverage thing, but we didn't have full linebackers. So it was like, let's do this coverage. I'm like, okay, well, I'll be the will so that we can make sure to have all this stuff covered correctly because the mic doesn't really cover anything without a running back. And the strong, you know, and the other guy, one of the other linebackers is just blitzing. So, and then they're like, cancel, cancel. And I'm like, what are we doing for cancel? And they're like, we're going back to normal and we need a, the, the linebacker to cover the receiver. And I'm like, there's, there's, there's no linebacker there. So I had to move from W out to the outer side, the strong side out to, to make sure that that receiver, it was fun. Um, definitely, definitely got, it's, it was refreshing that I got such a wonderfully damp shirt. Like, I was, I was working. <laughs> My shirt, which was, not this one, it was a blue one. So, um, it was a darker blue one. But yeah, it's, it's soaked. Um, and not just underneath the pads, which is good because it's like three degrees out. Sorry, I had to check thing, but then I had a butt ton of notifications. So yeah, it's like three degrees out right now, and my blue shirt is just, I'm losing my brain. Tomorrow I do legs, no good thumbnail. <laughs> like, maybe if, so, letting y'all know that I will have kind of an unboxing coming up. Uh, I ordered, I ordered one thing, well I ordered two things that are coming in the same package. And then I'm being, I'm getting a gift from, from Cursed, from Cursed, from, 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 uh, Mutter von Aaron, Aaron's, Aaron mother-in-law. <laughs> so, that's that. I'm, we were talking mainly in the locker room is why I didn't jump back out. Because if they were, if they were dutching it up in there, I would have just probably stepped back outside with all the stuff on and done an after practice. But Yan and Nick were talking about like league structure and that we will be playing 10 games this year and there will be eight teams in the Air Division. It's the first division. So if you guys want to have anything, it's all weirdly named. But I'm playing in the NDFL 1. So that's the NDFL. I kind of want to confuse it with the NFL. So we're going, and it's not the North Dakota Football League. It's the Nederlands Football League. They call it American Football Bond Nederlands. And it's Air Divisia, Div Divisia 1, Divisia 2. Because Air Divisia is like the top division. And then first division. <laughs> is the second one and it's kind of like how their floors work whereas if you live in like apartment 19-2 you're actually on the third floor make sense because the ground like the elevators when i was there when we were at casa if i wanted to go to the bottom floor it said b but other elevators sometimes say zero because the first floor is the one that's not the ground floor it's the next one up but apparently we're gonna have almira ronigan and maybe Utrecht? I'll have to figure this one out. Oh, 
Well, the wind is broken up a bit more here in Amsterdam. Although, we have this wonderfully clearness that's happening. The clouds are just racing by. This building here is uh, coming along very nicely. Uh, it's very slow construction, though. I wonder if, like, the out external frame was put in by a contractor and, like, because I think this is part of the Montessori College. Um, if, like, the students are building on the inside. Um, I'm not necessarily sure. It seems like they may do a bit of vocational here, but I know that Montessori is not, they have their own education plan. It's not that, you know, they're with the home, they're, it's not like they're all about the homeschooling or anything. They just have a slightly different way of approaching education. A more wholesome way that goes after learning styles rather than, at least in the States, where you just beat it in. So like math, you just keep smashing a kid with a math book until he starts spitting out his times tables. <laughs> it is the States. Uh, but yeah, there's... I remember looking up Montessori stuff and they have like... They don't necessarily do the whole concept of like common core. Um, which is only an American thing. The guy is, nobody here knows what Common Core is. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's because your education system's different. But uh, the fact that Montessori exists here too means that their education system is also different from Montessori. But it's a college. I'm just not sure exactly what level college is. I'm gonna head home with Aaron, probably warm up my hands, shove them in the boiling water or something. I had my star mix, and I had my chocolate milk, and I realized if I'm gonna lose a little weight, I gotta find something a little less calorie intensive than star mix. It's tasty, but it's also like 900 calories. Well, it was like two, 325 kilocalories per 100 grams, and the bag is 250 grams. You guys do the math. <laughs> Speaking of pounding math into your face, uh, there, it's up in the sky. Anyways, so yeah, gonna wanna cut back on that. Even after practice, loading up with that much sugar at once just overloads the system. If they had the skinny little packs that were only 100 grams, I could probably deal with that one, but yeah. So anyways, Aaron and I have figured out that we are going to go see a concert sometime in May, but we gotta buy tickets now. All right, so just to let you know, it didn't rain at practice. I think that's the front. This thing is just soaked. Yeah, to be fair, it is directly underneath where my pads are. But that's the thing. Yeah, this is, this is the back. Mm. Because if you kind of hold where the yeah. seams are, yeah, the neck hole is more, so this is the front and then that's, the, yeah, because that, I could see how this, the spine going down. Yeah. So, yeah, it's understandable. With all the, uh, with the pads holding on to my chest, but, or my upper body, but it didn't rain at practice. My helmet's not even damp. Uh, so, yeah. So you worked out hard. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's the thing is like, if, if that were, if it were, hmm, 15, 18 degrees out, even if it was cloudy and was warm, I could attribute that to just warm sweat. But it was like four or five degrees. Yeah. With wind. So I was being vented. Yeah. And I still got that. We we're probably gonna be doing dinner, but you have to go to bed early. So if we're gonna do dinner, we gotta do it now. Yeah. So we'll figure that one out. I wanna get it. <sighs> I have like clothing off, so I kind of want to be without clothing for a little bit. We'll talk about how his day is gone without me here, probably at dinner.